Hey guys, what's going on? So it is the day after the launch of Battlegrounds, and as I had suspected, pretty much everyone is focusing on Alteric Valley right now. Uh, initially, I thought people would be focusing on AV just because of the rep, but it seems like the honor is really, really good as well. Um, I know one thing that is really popular to do is instantly start complaining about something when we haven't really seen um, it out for long enough. And now, several months ago, I did put out a video on AV and, and how I would prefer to have the you know earlier versions of AV with the bombs, the faster spawning units, the, um, the shredders available for players to use, all that kind of stuff. I do think that's more fun AV, um, but I will say that it's kind of the mentality of gamers nowadays to always try and um, min-max things. Uh, this is really just common with any video game, you know. People are accustomed to speed runs and leaderboards and all that kind of stuff, so automatically people are competitive when it comes to uh, honor grinding and all that stuff. So regardless of what version of AV we have, I think early on when AV just launches, people are going to be going through it as fast as they possibly can. So if the game lasts eight minutes, or if we had the non uh, nerfed version and the game lasted 12 minutes, it's not really going to be a huge difference in the end. And I think time will tell whether AV really stands up. I've already been in a few pretty long games, so turtling and, you know, doing all the objectives and everything like that definitely probably will become more of a uh, common occurrence in, you know, the weeks to come. Everyone's just really excited to rank, or excuse me, not rank up, but get their reputation up and, you know, see those rewards, get the unstoppable force um, and all that kind of, you know, stuff that's really popular with uh, releasing new content people want to see the rewards as fast as possible so you know seeing super quick AVs I think is going to go away uh, in the future now will there still be people trying to push for those fast AV games yes of course and I do think it will be you know some optimal honor but for now I think we need to just kind of step back and you know see how things go and if Blizzard decides to bring back the know non nerf versions of the earlier avs i would be totally for that I, I like i've said before i um really support that and i would love to see that as well um but i do think that uh the speed that we see avs going at now is not really a normality now that out of the way i knew a lot of you guys would ask about you know my feelings on av and all that stuff so i think give it some time we'll see you know see what blizzard says and we'll also see how the games play out in the coming weeks. Um, but beyond that, I know some people have asked, like, what do I think about Warsong Gulch not being meta? Uh, and that's kind of always been the case uh, on, you know, other private servers and whatnot. You only do Warsong Gulch on Warsong Gulch weekends because the thing about Warsong Gulch is there's no time limit. So you can get unlucky and get in a really, really long game. I mean, the same goes for uh av as well so that's why a lot of pre-mades uh really prefer to do arathi basin because even if you lose or even if the game goes on a while uh you know someone's going to win uh within a certain amount of time so it's kind of uh better honor per hour and more of a guaranteed thing and i'll quickly address the cross realm you know situation a lot of people were unhappy that cross realm battlegrounds were going to be in the game but i personally think it's really cool uh, i love seeing other people from different servers and thanks to everyone out there who was you know messaging me and uh, saying nice things about my channel and everything like that so really really appreciate that uh, another question i've been asked is you know the backdoor strategy in av for horde side uh, can you still do it how do you do it and also, like, what? how do you do as a druid? Like, how do you cap the flag? So, in this video, or I mean in this segment, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So, basically what you see here is me just sneaking into the backdoor area. Um, you can get popped out by the archers if you're not careful. Um, but, you know, they don't do significant damage, so you can easily survive through that. Then, obviously, as soon as you can get out of combat, just mount up and you're going to head towards that backdoor area.
Now I will say with the speed that these games are going at, this isn't really a great strategy now, but in the coming weeks when AVs probably slow down in pace or if they get uh, a buff to them, then I think it's going to, you know, be a very good strategy. So there you just aim at that small tree and you jump to the ledge and it's pretty much as simple as that. If you jump towards the small tree, um, you can really make the jump very easily and it's it's no problem at all. Now you just stealth up and you sneak behind uh, the ram hut here. If you do pull anything, just run to the very top of the graveyard up the hill and everything will reset. So it's no problem if you pull anything, just know that that's a strategy. Um, and then here I just try and pull them into an area that's kind of hidden. So, you know, if there is an alliance player in the, the area, like completing a quest or something, they're less likely to see me. Um, and so then here we just kill them quickly with a bark skin hurricane combo. Uh, the mobs have very little health um, in their nerfed version, so they're very easy to kill. And then we just go ahead and cap the flag here. And it's also a good idea to like tell people in battleground chat that you've got the aid station because sometimes people aren't checking their map all the time. Um, and then that's it. You pretty much just uh, heal back up, stealth, and wait here for any people to come and help you, or wait here for other alliance players to try and teleport back and take the flag. Um, as long as you stay kind of behind the flag, you won't get attacked by the archers. If you move past the flag, um, then you're going to start getting shot by the archers, so you need to be careful of that, and I suggest just staying, you know, back up towards the graveyard in this area instead of going any further. Okay, so now we've covered nerfs to the game of, of AV and what I think about it. We've covered Cross Realm, and we also have talked about the backdoor strategy. Now, another thing that a lot of people ask is, you know, should I follow the team in AV? Should I do my own thing? Is it okay for me to do my own thing? Can I complete quests? All that kind of stuff. Yes, by all means, it's a 40 v 40. If uh, you take a game or two to go back to the quartermaster, if you take a game or two to complete some quests, uh, no one should be upset with you. And if they are, then they have no right to do that because those are things that are implemented in the game for you to do in AV. So it's, you know, completely okay for you to go and do those things. Also, if you're one of those people that really enjoy defending um, towers in uh Alteric Valley, you know, if you're a rogue and that is your favorite thing to do, if you're a druid and you love doing that, if you're a mage and you love running into the um, opposing team and novaing them and slowing them down and your team is getting upset for you doing those kind of things, uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but you have every right to do those things because, you know, those are objectives in the game and that's how the game works. Uh, there are obviously reasons that people will be upset with you uh people want fast games right now and so if you're defending it also uh encourages the enemy team to defend and this can you know end up with a turtle or a longer drawn out game but guys that's the whole point of av av is a massive you know map it has a ton of objectives it has you know cool interesting quests to complete it has uh, you know, mini bosses and NPCs that you can summon. Uh, enjoy the game. I don't know. It, there's a lot of people out there that will tell you not to do these things and you're slowing people down, but uh, it's not a big deal. And definitely play the game how you, you see fit. Uh, this is, at the end of the day, it's for your enjoyment as well. And if you're doing something, you know, completely useless and just to troll your team, then obviously that's kind of rude. But if you're actually like focusing on, on objectives and things like that, then there's no reason for you not to, to do those things. So hopefully that kind of clears that up a bit. I know people have been asking me about my thoughts on, um, you know, the one strategy that everyone has. And, and like I said earlier in the video, I think that that is going to go away as, as time goes on. Um, this is how it was on private servers as well. That first week or two, there's a lot of people that don't even like battlegrounds that are in AV that are just literally here just for rep. So they want to do everything they can to get their rep as fast as they can. And then they're going to get out and probably never play AV again. Um, and this is kind of unfortunate, but those rep rewards like we've talked about are really, really strong. And it's just something that happens. Uh, but uh, you trying to play the game how you see fit is totally fine to, you know, shorten things up. Um, 
but that's pretty much it guys i don't really know of any other uh questions or concerns that i've seen uh, i think blizzard will uh, probably uh, not move quickly on this decision uh, knowing blizzard i think they'll definitely give it some time i think that seeing the player base uh, upset is definitely something that they're not just ignoring but i also think that they probably want to see how um a this version of av pans out as well so again i'm with you guys i hope that they do buff av and bring back some of the nice things i, I loved having the landmines and, and all that stuff but that's the end of this video guys uh hopefully i get some uh footage of some warsong gulch games and i can do a upcoming video on that as well so enjoy warsong gulch enjoy av Hopefully you guys get your rep and you, you know, have some fun in these battlegrounds. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.